Hello again, welcome back. Another Scotch whisky to pair up with the beer I've just reviewed, Ossian from Inveramen Brewery in Scotland. This one is from my Pour and Sip Club, and it's Anok, I think that's pronounced. Highland single malt Scotch whisky, 18 year old. Maybe I should save this for special. Single malt Scotch whisky, 46% ABV. Drink by the dram. It's 30 ml, 3 centiliter bottle. It's got a wax protector on it. Let's let's crack that off. Crack it off. Let's get it off. Crack it off. There we go, that's fairly straightforward. Couple of big chunks. Let's get it into the Glencairn whiskey glass. In theory, you should let it rest in the glass a year, a minute for every year. So I should let that rest for 18 minutes. But I'm too impatient. That's disgraceful, isn't it? Anyway, let's have a wee look at the colour. Oh my goodness, it's quite deep. Well, there's something in that. Could be a bit of the wax. It is like a cup of tea. <laughs> it's tea coloured. It's absolutely beautiful. It's like a bronzy, goldy copper. Quite dark. Of course, 18 year old. Get a wee swirl. See what legs it's got. Yeah. It's not as viscous as I thought it would be. I like that we leave it. Blah, 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 blah. I'll let that rest a wee minute. I'll tell you what I could do. <laughs> Oh, that's quite spicy. Sweet, vanilla, woody. Oh, that's lovely. It's quite intense. There is a sweetness, like a honey-like vibe. It's quite woody. Vanilla. There is a spiciness there as well. Cinnamon. I like a cinnamon stick. It's just hints of that. There's other things going on, but my limited experience and limited vocabulary, whiskey vocabulary isn't he really up to the task at the moment? I've only been doing this a few weeks. It smells really nice. There was something else about that. Like a candy. I don't know. Anyway, cheers, my dears. That is very good. It's smooth. There was a slight nip on the tongue. There's no burn in the throat. There's no. <laughs> Pardon. The first impression, it's like a. Uh, it's like eating a, a rich fruit cake. With vanilla and honey in it. <laughs> You're tasting, there is a bit of spiciness. You're, you're tasting the oak as well. The aftertaste. It's that 
It's like that honey sweets. I don't know if that's right or not, but that's what I'm. That's what I'm. I'm getting. That's what. I, that's what I'm interpreting it as. Let's have a look at the notes. I've not read the notes previously, so. It's called Anok, 18 year old, 46%. I will add some water in a minute from my Glen Cairn whiskey uh, water jug. Uh, the distillery brand is Anok. From Knock Do Distillery comes this well aged 18 year old single malt. Knock Do whiskies are bottled under the Anok name, pronounced Anok because the owners felt that the distillery name is too similar to that of Speyside Distillery in Nochando. Nochando, do, knock, knock do, knock. So to avoid confusion, Arnott was chosen for its single malts in 1993. The whiskey is distilled in Nochdo's originally designed pot stills, giving the new make spirit a fruity, citrusy, honeyed flavour Likely very similar in style to the whisky produced by a distillery more than a hundred years ago. Those base notes are then bolstered by 18 years in a combination of Spanish oak sherry casks and American oak bourbon bottles, bringing a wealth of spicy, chocolatey notes and tropical sweeter flavours respectively. Chocolatey. So the nose, orange chocolate. I can't really see I picked it up. There is a bit of fruitiness there. Orange chocolate, dried pineapple, butterscotch, dry spices, fresh tobacco. You know, I was a smoker for nearly 40 years. I used to roll my own. There, I should have picked it up. There is a... A, a backy smell, tobacco, fresh tobacco. But I would never have said that. When they point it out, it becomes obvious. The palate spicier now with woody cinnamon, stewed red fruit. Yeah, it was like a rich fruit cake. Lemon curd and a drizzle of caramel. There is a maltiness that you'd expect in that. Lemon curd, finish spiced fudge, passion fruit cream, and marmalade. Yeah, well, the fruitiness I was getting. Let's add a wee touch of water. How many? Well, pour it a jug for a couple of drops in that. Maybe even three. I think that was two. So it's not going to change the colour. No. Nah. Oh, that smells woodier. That is like a like a sawdusty smell. <laughs> I'm getting the, the fruit. Like it might it is like a marmalade. It's like a rich fruit. What did you say? Orange chocolate. I can't see him picking up chocolate. Dried pineapple. Might be butterscotch. I don't know. Try spice and fresh tobacco. Yeah. Pile it spicy and I would woody something, let's see. That's so good. Look at the legs on that. I don't know if that picks it up. Well, the wee lines running down. It's, it's, it's quite full, full bodied, relatively speaking. But it's like sweetness on your lips. It's like it's delicious. 
And the finished spice fudge passion fruit cream and marmalade. I'm getting the spiciness, the marmalade, and a wee bit of maltiness. Sugary. I don't know. Let's try it with this beer. This is a golden ale from Umber Almond Brewery. This is quite a malty beer. See what it tastes like. Cheers, my dears. I've noticed this, I've done this a few times now. Still very much a novice. But it does make the beer fruitier. There's more a fruity taste now than there was when I first when I reviewed it. They do go really well together. I think that well, they improve each other. Although they're both very good on their own. Getting that fruity, sweet, let's say marmalade. It is like a, a, a fruitcake, a rich taste. They definitely improve each other. It's amazing. Thanks for watching. Try them if you can find them. I would imagine this costs a fortune. This was from a poor and sick club. Uh, five whiskies a month for 30 quid. Plus your, your notes and things like that. I'll see you next time, hopefully. Ta-ta for now. Cheers, my dears. Slancha. Garlic. Slancha. 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 Cheers. I think that's one of the best whiskies I've tasted. So good together. That's my best pairing yet. Just random.